person called to Mr. Kerry Thornley, T-H-O-R-N-L-E-Y, in Tampa, Florida. The area code is 813. Phone number is 247-1395. Yep. Can I Carrie Thornley, please. Speaking. Carrie, my name is Andy Shamber. I'm with the District Attorney's Office in New Orleans. How do you do? Fine, thank you. I understand you talked to Tom Bethel today. Tom who? Bethel. Oh, I called there and left a message, yeah. The uh -huh. Guy with a British accent? Right. Okay. Uh, Tom told us that uh, you said that uh, you were coming down and that you wanted to cooperate. And I uh, talked to uh, Garrison about that. And he asked me to give you a call and uh, see if it would be possible for you to come down this Thursday. This Thursday. Yeah, and get it over with, you know, as soon as possible. Sure, I'd like to get, uh, yeah, I, I, well, now, there's one thing, though. I want to have an attorney there when I'm down mm -hmm. there. Yeah. And, uh, so now I'm going to have to, uh, to, you know, I don't have an attorney here. Mm -hmm. My wife's father knows an attorney, mm -hmm. and he's offered to, you know, Come on down donate his you. services. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll have to check, uh, check it out with him. Well, when but, could I find out if it would be possible for you to come on down? Okay, fine. This is, uh, let me, uh, let me write all this down now. Okay. Now, now, there's, there's one thing now. I've got, uh, I'll be getting the summons tomorrow. I got mm -hmm. the certificate today. Right. Uh, now, uh, what about that now? If, if I, if I come down, uh, and get it over with, uh, mm -hmm. won't I still be legally bound to that summons, or will that be changed? No, in other words, we could release you to that. I see. In other words, um, Actually, I guess we'd be helping both of us out by getting it over with as soon as possible. Okay. Um, and if you have no objections to it, and well, uh, the, the only thing I object to, really, I'll tell you something. Mm -hmm. I, I saw that that certificate for the first time today when I went down mm -hmm. to court. You know. Yeah. And like that thing, I, I can understand that maybe from talking to Barbara Reed, and that that, that, that you got the idea that I had been seen with Oswald, mm -hmm. and that that had as. It was said in the certificate that had been established, but there was, there, you know, there was no excuse for saying that I had not been questioned on that in my Warren Commission testimony, because it's on the record that I was questioned as to whether I saw Oswald in New Orleans, and I told them definitely not. And it just irks me a little because Mr. Garrison, in one of his speeches not too long ago, was talking about how a government that could get away with lying could get away with murder, and I just wonder, you know. Mm -hmm. Well. As far as that's concerned, uh, I didn't write up the uh, uh, the grand jury subpoena, and uh, Jim Alcock yeah. is one who probably did that. And of course, I'm sure that uh, there are some questions you would like to ask us when you come on down, uh, which you have a right to yeah, do. Well, actually. okay. I'm sorry for flying off the handle. No, that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, according to Mr. Lifton and mm -hmm. uh, a few other people I've talked to, there's, the theory seems to be that there's just a big misunderstanding between Garrison and I. Mm -hmm. And that's why I call, and uh, because it was at Mr. Lipton's advice that mm -hmm. I I give a call and uh, <laughs> uh, do what I could to clear it up. Mm -hmm. Now uh, let's see. That's let me see. What's today? Today is uh, today's the twenty second. Okay, today's the twenty second. Thursday would be the twenty fifth. The twenty fifth. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when? What time would you want me there? Well, um, you know, what hour of the day? Yeah, actually, it would be the same time provision as on the subpoena. Same time provision. Yeah, what, what time do they specify on the I subpoena? I don't know, but yeah, I'll something check around it out, you know. Nine or ten o'clock, something like that, yeah. I guess. Uh, but, of course, you would have to contact uh, your attorney first to see if he would be able to make the trip with you. Right. But well, outside of that... there or something. Yeah, yeah, but outside of that, I mean, you, you, you'd rather get it over with as soon as possible, right? Sure, right. Mm -hmm. Well, now, what should I do, uh, Carrie? Call you again tomorrow to see if you have been able to contact yeah, your attorney? Yeah, could you do that? Yeah. I'd sure appreciate that. Okay. I'll give you a call tomorrow morning sometime around 11 o'clock. How's that? Fine. Okay? Good night. And my name is Shambra, S-C-I-A-M-B-R-A. S-C-I-A-M-B-R-A. 
A-M-B-R-A. B-R-A. Right. Okay. Okay? Fine. Fine. Thank you. Sure enough. Bye-bye. Albert, I want to make a long-distance person-to-person call to Mr. Kerry Thornley, T-H-O-R-N-L-E-Y, in Tampa, Florida. Uh, the area code is 813. The phone number is 247-1395. My name is Shambra. Good morning, Carrie. Yeah. Andy Shamber, Carrie. Yeah. How are you? Uh, pretty good. I've been, uh, I've been thinking over the thing about coming down, you know, this week. Mm-hmm. And I just, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> a few of some of those allegations and, mm-hmm. you know, and that certificate are pretty hairy. And I don't know mm-hmm. what they're based on. And, you know, I just don't, don't feel that I can come down there until I have, you know, every possibility, you know, of, 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 you know, defending myself no matter mm-hmm. what comes up, uh, worked out, you know, mm-hmm. with regard, um, uh, now, so I think, uh, I, I just, you know, and, and getting an attorney and all that business is just, you know, just would be too much of a last minute yeah. to patch together and mm-hmm. I just would be unorganized and unprepared and, you know, I might have to, I don't know, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to have to prove mm-hmm. and I might have to prove something that I would be prepared to prove, you know, have stuff with me. Well, if, if you believe that it would be a disadvantage to you, well, Carrie, I would advise you not to do it myself. The only yeah. reason why uh, Mr. Garrison asked me to call you is because we thought we could get it over with as soon as possible and, uh, yeah, I and get it out of the way. I but if you think... Turner, I, I'm Turner. sorry? I, I said I understand, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, I talked to Bill Turner last night. He, you know, expressed his opinion that he mm-hmm. would be a lot busier, you know, with play shot trial and stuff mm-hmm. like that. You talked to Bill Turner from Rampart? Yeah. Um, he told me another thing, by the way, that uh, that I would uh, certainly like like to challenge. Right? He didn't know the details of it, but he thought that Mr. Garrison uh, claimed to have found a discrepancy in those uh, signed affidavits that I gave listed. And uh, there's, uh, there's there's just no discrepancy in those things. I know because uh, uh, I've read them over several times to make sure that they were uh, absolutely in accord with the facts. And uh, I'll. Uh, I offer to straighten that out with anybody that wants to call me and discuss it with me. Right. Well, as I said before, Kerry, when you do come down here, uh, if you have any questions for us and uh, we can answer any right. questions that you may have, I, I think we'll be glad to do it. Right. Uh, uh, exactly. Uh, let's see if there was anything else on my mind uh, that I wanted to bring up today. I guess not. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I'd like to come down there and get, you know, get it all over with as much as you would. But, uh, uh, gee, that, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, that, that certificate is frightening because either somebody has to be lying along the line or, or there's, you know, there's, there's, there's somebody that, that, that I don't remember as having looked particularly like Oswald that I was with or there's somebody that looks very much like me, one of the two. Mm-hmm. Well, as I said before, um, um, rather than go into what is on the certificate, uh, I don't think I'm qualified to do that yeah. because I didn't draw it up. But uh, when you come down here, I'm sure that uh, it can be discussed. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, we'll discuss it, right? Uh, so uh, I'll, you know, I'll see you uh, the eighth uh, uh, and ninth. And uh, in the meanwhile, you know, if you want to get in touch with me for anything, I'll still be at this number. Okay, fine. And I'll be available. Okay, Carrie. Thanks a lot. Sorry, I couldn't. It's quite all right. I understand. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.
Uh, Mr. Diamond, please. Mr. Diamond, is that Lawrence? May I take a message? This is Jim Alcock uh, from the district attorney's office. Yes, sir. Would you tell him I recall, uh, returned his call and that, uh, when is he due back, do you know? Because I'll be going out myself in a while. Probably shortly after one. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll call him back. Oh. Probably. Will he be in this afternoon, do you know? As far as I know, he will. All right, fine. I'll call him this afternoon. But tell him I returned his call, huh? Oh, okay, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.